my dear students welcome to ape ict panthi youtube channel today we are going to discuss grade 8 lesson 4 programming so this programming lesson is not a new part for you because from grade 6 starting from grade 6 you learned about the programming in the grade 6 you learned about algorithms and flowcharts that part is the basics of the computer programming then in the grade 7 you learned about control structures and mainly you learned about sequence control structure and you learned a programming software called scratch so now you are in grade 8 and we are going to learn programming in advance before more to lesson please subscribe teachers channel and also share the videos with your friends let's move to video yes. so software mean any computer program designed to satisfy any requirement or designed to solve any problem so now we are going to develop computer programs so why we develop computer programs or softwares is to solve day to day requirement or problem so before developing any computer program we have to identify the problem we have to identify the problem so to identify the problem we have to do problem analysis we have to do problem analysis we have to analyze the problem and identify the requirements then we have to develop the program to satisfy the requirements right now we are going to talk about the problem analysis Analyzing a problem involves dividing the problem into smaller segments of the problem and examining, right? When analyzing the problem, first part is to divide the complex problem into smaller segments. In grade 7, you learned a word for this dividing complex problem into smaller segment. That's decomposing. Decomposing a problem when you find a complex problem what you have to do is you have to decompose it this will make it easier to solve the problem decomposing mean you have a complex problem and you are going to divide the that complex problem into smaller parts and you are going to solve the smaller parts one by one and finally the whole complex problem is solved without any effort so decompose in uh, if you decompose any problem then we can easy to solve if we can easy to understand we can easy to analyze so when analyzing a problem it's possible to identify the input process and output yes input process output can you remember this one when we were in grade 6 we learned the basic function of the computer it's input process and output again we learned the input process and output when we were discussing about algorithms right so to develop programs we have to decompose the problem and also we have to identify the input process and output right here you can see example right uh, there's a bookshop name abc so uh, one customer purchase some items then bookshop owner Uh, wants to calculate the total price then output is uh, the total price to be paid right now to calculate the total price to be paid we have to identify what are the input 
what are the process processes and the output right so in this picture you can see inputs what we need to calculate the total amount to be paid is item then item amount and the unit price these are the things we need as input for this process to count the final or total price we need number uh, what are the items purchased and their amount and the unit price then how to calculate the total amount so we have to calculate amount equal number of items multiplied by the unit price then after that we have to get the total price of the all amount purchase first we have to multiply the amount and the unit price of the each item after that we have to get the total of each item so output is amount to be paid you have to identify the inputs process and output very clearly right so while you are listening to my video please pause the videos and please write down the notes it's essential for you next so now we are going to identify what's mean by input process and the output input mean what are the items we need to solve the problem necessary items for solution process mean the method method to arrive at a solution methods to arrive at a solution what are the methods we have to follow to take the final solution then output solutions related to the problem so solutions related to the problem we have a problem by using the process we solve the problem then final output of the problem right let's discuss a one example problem is to find the year of birth when a person's national identity card number is given right we have to find the birth year year of birth of a person what we have is the national identity card of that person so our input is national identity card number national identity card number then what's the process so by using the national identity card number how to find the year of birth the method is to choose the first two digits of the identity card number here you can see in the example 9876 uh, 4532 one letter v so from this list from this national identity card number by choosing the by selecting the first two digits we can identify the birth of year of this person so this person born in 1998 so final output is year of birth let's go to the next example right find the cost of purchasing five prints find the cost of purchasing five pens now you want to purchase five pens you go to a shop and ask to buy five pens so you already know the amount you want to purchase you want to purchase five pens then another input you need is the unit price of a pen it means price of a pen right then how to calculate the total cost for the five pens total equal price of a pen multiplied by five unit price of the pen multiplied by five then we can take the total amount we have to pay for purchasing five pens input is price of a pen 
process calculate in cost it means total equal price of a pen multiplied by 5 then we can take the output as total amount now we know how to identify input process and output for a given problem now you have to do a workbook activity activity 1.4 activity 1.4 analyze the problems given below and identify the input process and the output analyze the problems given below and identify the input process and the output you have to analyze the problem then you have to identify what are the inputs process and output here you can see two problems let's go through the first problem first one those who are 18 years or above are eligible to vote those who are below 80, 18 years are not eligible to vote that's the first question first problem you have to analyze the problem and identify you have to identify and write down input process and output separately let's read the second one in a one day cricket match between two teams either one team may win or the match will draw yes that's a one day cricket match between two teams so what will be the output one team may win or one the total match will be drawn to relate it to these two problems shall we identify input process and output let's go through the first one those who are 18 years or above are eligible to vote those who are below 18 years are not eligible to vote now you can pause the video and you can do this activity one 4.1 now i am going to discuss the answers right in this question in the first question what you need as input is the age of the person the age of the person next we have to consider about the process how to identify whether any person eligible for voting or not so we have the age of an individual then if the age is above 18 or equal to 18 then individual is processed as eligible to vote if the age is below 18 then individual is processed as not eligible to vote so we can take the input as the age in the process we are going to consider the age and we are going to check whether age is equal or greater than 18 then the person is eligible to vote if the age is below 18 then that person is not eligible to vote the final output is the uh, statement the statement indicating the whether person is eligible to vote or not eligible to vote the final output is the decision statement right now we discuss about the first question so let's go to the second one in a one day cricket match between two teams either one team may win or the will uh, match will be drawn right so to solve the problem what we need as input is the results of the cricket match the marks obtained by both teams it means results of the cricket match then process so if one team is co higher than the other team so we can consider the team 
who scored higher mark is the winning team one team we are going to compare the marks or score obtained by two teams and we identify one team scored more than another team then the team who scored more than the other team is the winning team then other team is the losers but when we compare in the score obtained by those teams we can see both teams score the same value then we can say the results is draw so what will be the output team a will be win team b will be win and match will be draw that's the output if a team score higher than b then a is the winner if b score higher than a then b is the winner if team a and b both obtain both score same marks then the match will be drawn so i think you can understand about the uh, problem analysis and identifying the input process and output also in this tutorial we discuss about uh, workbook activity 4.1 so this is all for today video um, in the next video series we have to discuss about control structures so let's meet with the another video goodbye my children